Hey guys, and welcome to episode 5 of Scrapping for Survival, and it is the last day of the season already. Can't believe it. And we're going to be playing Tottenham on the last day of the season, but brilliant, brilliant news. Despite a below average season, as you would expect, considering I'm Burnley, we have survived with one game to spare. We're five points above Bristol City in 18th place. We're 17th, we were 16th full season, but okay results recently has allowed us to survive despite only really just getting over the 30 point barrier. I don't, usually the aim is 40 points for survival, but three poor teams from River, Reading, Sunderland and Bristol City have allowed us to stay up with quite a low point score but we can still finish 16th or 15th if West Ham and Fulham slip up and we win but I think that's unlikely considering Tottenham are a Champions League qualifier this season so in recent games it's been not bad after that impressive final final victory we then drew 3 all against Arsenal and I think I'll show you the goals. So let's go. Three goals each. We we scored three against Arsenal in the other game, of course, but, but we won three 0 But three three away from home. Very impressive result for us. This uh, formation was working reasonably well with the two up front. Austin on the charge, been brilliant once again this season. I think he should be in the England team with the form he's been on recently on this game. But yes, they took the lead through Kuwuki, or however you pronounce his name. Seems to be a decent striker on FM13. But in the second half, this is what happened. In came Bren, back to the keeper, back to Austin. Back to Britain, into Austin, Wallace, Britain, Shackle, good passing movement. Britain at the pinnacle. The pinnacle? <laughs> Austin scored. I meant to say the fulcrum. But yes, a lovely finish from Austin to make it 1 0. But we then took the lead. Austin again to make it 2-1. He loves scoring goals against big teams. And then they equalised. You'll see in a second. Ramsey, Arteta, Metasaka. Back to Szczesny. I believe Tom, the other guy in Golden FM, may have been offending Arsenal fans on Twitter. It wasn't me <laughs> he was saying about Wilshire. if um, you may have seen. Sorry about that. There is two of us on Golden FM, so it's not always me tweeting. Usually I, I stay neutral. I don't tweet controversial stuff. That's Tom. And that was 3-2 to us, Austin penalty, but they did equalise. <laughs> yeah, I try and stay out of things. I, I'm a neutral guy on there. I just... I just tweak the banter and the jokes and the, the videos. Really? Well, I tweak 99% of the stuff, but Tom comes in with some interesting stuff from time to time. Then up came Arsenal and they equalised. Unfortunately. So, yes, 3 all draw. And then another three a draw against Newcastle. I would show this one, but we've got a live game to get through. Austin and Daddy with our goals and an own goal. There's been so many own goals this season for me and against me. Look, Bannon own goal and a 3-1 defeat against Fulham. Austin with another goal. Then a great 3-1 victory against uh, Wigan. Austin and Trippier with goals. Should I show that? Nah, I'll show the QPR one. Then a 2 under defeat against West Ham, disappointing there, but Austin with another goal. And a 2 draw against Bristol City. We were 2-0 down, but Wallace came on and saved our skin. Fantastic two goals from him. 2-0 defeat against Liverpool. 
3 0 defeat against Man United. And I was starting to think, uh oh, we might go down to the last day, but luckily we beat QPR. I just realised talking about Tom's tweeting about Arsenal, I think that, well, <laughs> it was recently from me filming, but this may, may be shown in the future. Uploaded in a couple of weeks because I'm trying to build up a catalogue of uh, videos over the Christmas period to upload whilst I'm trying to revise and do my dissertation. Oh, so, so annoying. I hate uni. Can't wait for the end of this uni. But anyway, back to FM. Austin with a fantastic goal to make it 1 0. And then an unusual but brilliant goal from Trippier. Look at that. Loved over everyone. I don't think he meant it. That was a fantastic. This is a fluke. Trippier will claim it. But um, fantastic goal nonetheless. So 2 0, which means we've survived. And we go into this game against Tottenham. Already known we've survived. So actually, I'll just show you that the team I've put out. Here we go. There you go. And we shall advance to the game. Looks like they're not playing their first 11. Well, I don't know what their first 11 is, to be honest, but... I'm not sure who Koulibaly is up front. But they've already qualified for the Champions League, of course. We've survived. It's just a sense of... Let's do it for the fans. It's motivated three of them for once. They're playing Danny Ings up front. Had a good spell around Christmas time when we were missing Austin for a few games. Austin's been brilliant considering he's just stepped up from the championship and banged in over 20 goals again in the in the league. That's Any striker to get 20 goals in the premiership is an incredible striker. I hope he gets into the England team on this game. He deserves it. Just give him, give him a chance. I mean, we don't have a huge number of strikers in England at the moment. So, Bannon, don't lose it. Bam it, bam. Oh, I forgot to say. Did I say? I'm not sure if I told you I signed Bannon. I signed Bannon. Yeah, for like 180k. I should have said in the last video. I can't remember if I said or not. Well, if I did... I did. If I didn't, there you go. I signed Bannon. Here goes Austin. Oh, what a run. And then he hit the post. That was unlucky. So two chances for us so far. Sandro booked. Oh, Vukovic. Why does Vukovic always get battered? Pamic is another one that always gets injured. Oh, what are you doing, Edgar? Oh, could this be a red? Off, 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 off. Yes! Red card for Sandro. We've got a good chance now of winning this. He says. Trippier. Been fantastic this season. I mean, <laughs> fantastic in comparison. I'm, like, I'm, I'm 17th, but... It's been enough. That's what my aim was. To scrap for survival. To to do that. Successfully scrap for survival. I knew it was going to be a scrap. Before I even started. Which is why it's called this. The episode, uh, the series is called that. So. Oh. Trippy almost did it again. Yeah. So. But I've successfully done it. And my mission accomplished. You may think I've done poor. And should have done better. But. I'm proud of staying up with Burnley. I'm not sure if I'm going to do another series. Maybe you can let me know. But. I think I will. It'd be another scrap for survival. But maybe just a couple of uh, episodes for the season. And phase in my new series. Um, yeah, we'll just get with that. So I'll just maybe phase this out slowly. This wasn't meant to be a long term series. The Everton one's a bit longer term. Because obviously I'm on the fourth, fourth season now. Whereas this one's just been two seasons so far. But, I fancy having another crack. I can keep them up again, I think. be difficult to, to improve, unless I get a bit of money. Ings, nicely. Headed to Bannon, Trippier. Ings. Ings. Bannon. Britton. Blocked. Pamic. Vukovic. 
Britain, Vukovic, Britain, Pamic, Turns, <laughs> where's he going? Britain, Austin, Bannon, go! Lovely finish, curled in. Ah, that was his first ever goal, and it was a cracking goal as well. Nice play, lovely, lovely play. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Should have showed it in 3D there. Always forget, always skip it naturally. But Ings, 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 yes! Two goals in the space of three minutes. Thank you, commentator, for that nicely timed bit of commentary. <laughs> oh, lovely play from Austin into Ings. Gets an end of season goal. Austin's actually got a chance of getting the golden boot if he can get a couple of goals here. But I don't think he will now. We'll bring on Stanislas, I think. And um, we'll bring on Wallace. He, he's not a central midfielder, but he did well last time when I put him there. Vukovic, get rid of it, Vukovic. What oh, good. Off, 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 off. Yes. I can't believe it. Two red cards. Now we cannot lose this now. We should dominate. We better dominate. Two red cards for Tottenham. Who'd have thought that? Oh well, it's the last day of the season. They don't care. But I am very happy. I went to make my last substitution. Pamic headed away. Get it. Don't let Kabul. Oh. If he, if he scores here, it'd be really annoying. Oh, good, he missed. He probably deserved to score after running that far. But you don't deserve to score unless you hit the target, in my opinion. Well, obviously. Uh, we'll bring on... Oh, I don't know. Daddy, last game of the season. He's not been that successful, but... He's got a couple of goals. And every goal counted, really, in the end. So everyone who scored a goal scored important goals. Trippier, Pamic, goal! 3-0. This is brilliant for you guys. Usually it's 0-0 in live games with my Burnley save. But you're seeing some goals. That's what I like to see. It was a great ball, and Pamic was just by himself, thanks to the two extra men. I want Austin to score. Please score. He deserves another goal. Doesn't look like he's going to get it. Pamic. Long throws. I've never seen him take long throws before. I've seen two from him now. They've got Leighton Baines at left back. I know just earlier, but just didn't say. Wallace. Daddy. Daddy, 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 4 now. I know we're playing against nine men, but still I'm loving this. What a way to end the season. I think you Arsenal fans are probably loving this as well. Sorry Tottenham fans watching this, it must be cruel. You might be able to get a goal. Nope, knocked away, Austin, run. Run. Run! Where are you going, Austin? Sign in blood. Oh, that's going to be the end. This is the end. We've won 4 0. I think that's the best win we've had live with Burnley. Yay! Yay! I enjoyed that. It's the first time I've actually enjoyed the Burnley's <laughs> save for a while because it's just so frustrating when you're always lose, losing, even though you know you can't do much better. And we actually finished 16th in the end, that's good because that's where we were for pretty much the whole season. S around about 16th, you know. Always, on average, 16th. We were never in the relegation zone all season, so we definitely deserve to stay up. That's brilliant. Yes, and oh, Men City won the title. 
then Man United, Tottenham, Liverpool and Arsenal, Wigan and Norwich in the Norwich and Wigan. Wow, what brilliant seasons for them. Let's see who came up. Well, there we can't find out yet. Those two in the playoff final. I went, I went to see the... Let me see the league. Come on. There we go. Wolves and Black... Wow, Wolves dominated. And Blackburn. Between Blackpool and Swansea. Okay, so that's the end of the season. Let's just see the stats quickly. Charlie Austin, third top score. Well, joint second. With Suarez, Jekko top. 23 goals. Fantastic season for Austin. What a legend. Um, goals wise for us. Austin, then Ings with 8. Vukic with 6. Daddy with 5. Appearances. Shekel with the most. Average rating. Austin, Vukovic, Shekel, me, Edgar, Pamic. I mean, our defence was pretty solid overall. It really wasn't that bad. Our goal difference was only minus 10 compared to the teams around us. That was very good. So I'm very happy. Very happy with 16th. I can't say I've ever <laughs> been that happy to finish 16th before. But that's where we were expected to finish. Well, we expected to finish 19th. So, yes, we stayed up. I'll do another se uh, season, just maybe not really quickly, just like gradually play it. And I'll let you know how I get on and do a couple more episodes, I think. Not right at the start of the, the season, just maybe halfway through and at the end. Just to let you know how I do with Burnley. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this season. So there'll be a couple more episodes to Scrapping for Survival next season. And I hope you watch it. Please like and subscribe and comment. Leave feedback. Congratulate me if you, if you fancy. <laughs> that would be much appreciated. And I shall see you in the next video, whatever I upload. See you guys.